Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to CodingScientist.com, a one-of-a-kind unique platform for Zero to Hero series. In fact, multiple Zero to Hero series. All right, guys. So let this is absolutely a new brand series which we are launching today. All right, guys. So basically, what's what's going to happen in this particular series is you know this this is absolutely a special series for those of you who want to basically get into ESP range of microcontrollers, ESP range of microcontrollers for artificial intelligence, robotics and IoT products, IoT projects and products. You can call it as a product because the projects you can convert it into a product ultimately, right? So this particular series is for absolute beginners from zero level who do not have any knowledge on Python or C++ or microcontrollers. This is the right platform. So this is going to start from the scratch from the basics absolutely for the beginners. We will be using both C++ and MicroPython to build multiple wide varieties of projects in this particular series. I will I will show you from the basics from the scratch and of course we will be using Arduino IDE for C++ and Thony IDE for micro python coding in this particular series of lessons. So we will use two different microcontrollers one is the ESP32 or you can call it as ESP8266 uh, uh, sorry 8266 what is it called yeah it's kind of uh, you know you may also call it as a node MCU. ESP has got varieties of board guys you know there are ton loads of boards available in the market within the ESP range within the ESP configuration but in this series there are two major boards we will be using one is the ESP32 and the ESP32 CAM okay actually the node MCU is pretty much a little bit outdated so I'll be getting the ESP32 development board very soon in a day or two. So I'm going to start building the lessons and uh, do the configurations and stuff like that. But ESP32 camera module, you can see there's a small little cam. It's based on ESP32. It's It's got built-in camera inside and it's got a SD card reader and stuff like that and connected to Wi-Fi. So we are going to use this module widely in addition to node mcu and esp32 module node mcu probably we might want to discard it but i'll be giving you a pretty much high level information about using the node mcu but however we will be focusing more on esp32 development board and esp32 camera module all right guys so let's let's take a look at it from uh, from the aspects of what exactly you are going to gain my viewers are going to gain out of this particular series so let's take a look so first of all i'll i'll be walking you guys, walking through you know all the basics and fundamentals for those of you who have already worked on uh, arduino projects and esp32 projects this might be kind of little bit of a babysitting kind of thing because because you know as the series says it's a zero to hero right so my focus our focus is going to be for the school students and there are college students who do not have the basic knowledge so we are we are targeting at that kind of audience so feel free to you know leave a message leave a comment below and i'll be glad to help you out and in addition to this uh, series, what we are planning to do is conduct a one-on-one -on -one, uh, session through Zoom or a group calls through Zoom meetings. So in the Zoom meetings, you can ask questions if uh, you know any kind of troubleshooting uh, kind of stuff is required, any questions related to hardware, software, uh, or projects you are building. So that that will be taken care of side by side. So. This is going to be purely based on MicroPython and C++. I forgot to mention C++ in the screen. So anyways, so C++ using Arduino will be covered and MicroPython coding using Thony IDE will be covered in this series. And in addition to that, we will be building ton loads of circuits. So when I say circuits, we will be using sensors, sensors to connect to your ESP32 module and also we will be using ESP32 CAM as a microcontroller itself, right? So we will be building ton loads of sensor projects. Of course, most of the projects is going to be based on the breadboard initially and over a period of time, I'll show you how to convert your breadboard logics into a PCB or, or a 
common board where you can do some soldering and kind of thing so it's absolutely from the basics from the scratch so you know it's going to be really interesting guys and what we will also do is i will show you how to build mobile apps to get connected to your esp32 module both camera module as well as the esp32 development board using a open source platform called blink b l y n k there are ton loads of materials available on the internet you can google up you can learn about it in this series we will be building step by step all the applications using blink and i'll show you from the basics from the basics to download to configuration setting up and you know uh set, configuring the gui and how to connect to your uh, node mcu or or esp32 cam or esp32 development board and start building applications where you can control through the mobile app stuff like that so that's what you're going to learn in this series and what we will also do is we will capture information from the sensors we will gather ton loads of information from your external environment and i will show you how to analyze those information and start consolidating and put it on the cloud we will be using aws uh, initially uh, and and try to explore a couple of other uh, cloud uh, cloud ba cloud based architecture as well so uh, in this particular series you will also get a hands on experience into capturing the data and put it on the cloud and uh, remotely access those data anywhere in the world through the internet just through your mobile app through the blink app and start analyzing uh, stuff like that so it, it's purely we are getting deep dive into iot right and we will also get into connecting your esp32 camera with with the esp32 module itself right so what what we will do is this the inbuilt camera within esp32 it's pretty powerful guys you know though it's tiny little you know small uh, it, it looks pretty small but it's trust me i i've been doing lot of projects on esp32 cam and and it's really really powerful you know we can build ton loads of projects so i will show you how to hook up the esp32 cam starting from uh the initial configuration because it this does not come with a usb directly you cannot plug in there there are a couple of tricks and circuits to uh, program this board so i will walk you through step by step how to program this board write your first command and run through some example code which comes inbuilt within the esp32 cam and how and how we can take it forward from there and of course we will be getting into the artificial intelligence aspects using esp32 cam we i will show you the basics of connecting this camera module into a platform called edge impulse right edge impulse is a third party platform we will be using basically we will connect the esp32 cam to the edge impulse and start gathering the data and uh, you know we will do ton loads of analytical uh, work and train the machine learning model and load those machine learning model into the esp32 cam and run the inferencing it's going to get interesting guys this includes of course the face recognition this includes object detection image classification and and ton loads of other things right and since we are going to do a lot of breadboarding aspects i will show you how to connect the external microphone a small 100 rupees microphone and uh, you know start ca capturing the voice inputs and uh, you know so many magics we can do guys so that's that's uh, about it from ai perspective when we start using edge impulse platform and <clears throat> the most interesting aspects we will be building a surveillance robot right now i have built a small kit around here uh, you know you would have seen this uh, kit in my 33 ble sense uh, uh, tutorials so i will be using the same chassis which is made of a uh, industrial grade aluminum you know alloy it's it's a military grade uh, alloy which has been 3d cut and fabricated and you know which comes with two different small dc motors and treads so the entire module your uh, the, the battery is going to come in between and we are going to fix the modules here the camera module in the front and we are going to build some projects to do surveillance robot in the picture what you see is basically it's it's almost the same but also there are some 3d designs which is available if you guys have a 3d printer you can go ahead and print i will share you the drawings but this is a industrial grade you cannot use the 3d printer uh, this kit you have to get it from me in case if you are interested you can reach out to me the, this is a pretty handy and a pocket size uh, bot which can be used indoor and outdoor both 
so that is that's all about this particular series guys and this is going to really get you know interesting those of you who are really really interested to get your hands on into electronics into embedded electronics especially using microcontrollers c c++ programming micro python programming getting into artificial intelligence you know it's absolutely from zero to hero so this is going to be one of the long running series maybe you know i am targeting about 50 60 70 lessons videos and it's going to get more detail of course there is going to be ton loads of one on one and zoom meetings zoom calls so you know that's that that that's a you know alternative uh, method which i can uh, offering to my clients actually all right guys so thank you very much for uh, taking your time do subscribe do take up this course it's absolutely free it's you know there are no charges unless until you want to buy the entire iot and robotics kits from me of course it's it's a different charge but for the course for the tutorial it's totally uh, free so uh, do enjoy and have fun building skills is very important guys and uh, do enjoy this learning i'll be back soon in the lesson number 1 very quick goodbye